Blender 4.0 contains an important but subtle change to the principled BSDF dealing with specular reflections that I want to talk about. This is something that is important and it could cause confusion if you didn't know about it. The specular function controls the glossy reflections on a surface. The higher it is, the glossier the surface appears, the lower it is, the less glossy it appears. But really what it's doing is it's altering the Fresnel curve at the low incidence end of the curve. They designed it to be sort of an artist-friendly approach to controlling the Fresnel curve. It's something that to a purist like myself is kind of weird to work with because people like me are used to using the index of refraction to control the Fresnel curve. And in many of the 3D applications, it's actually the index of refraction that controls the expression of the specular reflections on a surface. But in Blender, the specular was only controlled by this specular value, and the index of refraction that appeared down here had no control over it. And that was a bit weird to me when I first started using it because I was used to adjusting the index of refraction. The default IOR value of 1.52 is the most common value that's used to control the specular reflections on a surface. And it means at the lowest incidence angle on a surface, you're going to have about four and a quarter percent reflectivity driving up to 100% reflectivity at glancing angles. So the change that they've made in 4.0 is to make it so that the index of refraction now controls specular reflections in the same way that most other applications do. But the twist here is that they still have the specular value in place, and it also controls the specular reflections on the surface. So that can be confusing because adjusting the specular value, if we come over and I make a specular change here, causes a decrease in the intensity of the F0 end of the, of the Fresnel curve, which is the face on reflections. But if I take this up back to the default value, and then I come down to the index of refraction, and I change it to say something like 1.1, that also affects the specular reflections across the surface at the F0 face on end. So kind of what's going on? So it turns out that what they've done is kind of ingenious, and I'm going to return this index of refraction back to its default state. They're using the specular value as a modulator that affects the intensity of the expression of the Fresnel curve as it's determined by the index of refraction. So the index of refraction was always governing the specular function in 3.6 and before. We, as the end user, just didn't have any control over that. So what they've done now is they've given us control of the driver of the Fresnel curve that is then modulated by the specular highlight. So when the specular is set to 0.5, that is the neutral position that allows for just the normal expression of what the index of refraction is doing to the Fresnel curve. So remembering that that 0.5 is the neutral, meaning it allows just for the standard expression of the index of refraction as it controls the Fresnel curve, if we add a bitmap to control specularity, you want to think about the bitmap starting from a 50% gray. So if we come over here, Shift A, we come over to Input, and then add an RGB node, dropping that here, clicking on the color swatch, you want to make sure value is set to 0.5. As a quick side note, you note that that is not in the middle, meaning you would think 50% is here, but the colors are gamma corrected. In fact, it says that here, because our rendering is gamma corrected, they're gamma correcting the colors so that we're sort of matching what we see in terms of color specification to what's happening with the rendering. So you would just want to start any kind of a bitmap with a neutral gray is your starting point. So you could add a little bit of black to it or add a little bit of white to it to go on either side of that 50% gray to adjust this. Because if you set black as your starting point, then it's going to be the same thing of setting specular down to zero. But if you set it to white, it's going to be 1.0 for the reflections. Now, the thing that's kind of interesting here is that that 1.0 is very much an arbitrary value, and it simply amplifies the reflections just a little bit, but you can go above that 1.0. It's just that from a bitmap standpoint, 
the white will, would be an equivalent to a 1.0. Okay, so let's come back over here and set this back. So there was one situation in 3.6 where the specular channel would be controlled by the index of refraction. And that was when you had fully transparent refractive surfaces, meaning you took the transmission and set it up to 1.0. And that is also the same functionality in 4.0. So for instance, if we come in and we take the base color and we set it to fully white, and then we take transmission and we set it up to 100%, we get a glass type of object where most of the light is transmitting through the object and a little bit of, is, a little bit of it is reflecting off the surface. And it turns out when the index of refraction is that 152, like it is these two other spheres, then we get exactly the same amount of reflectivity on this surface as what you're seeing on these two spheres. So the index of refraction in this situation is controlling the expression of the Fresnel curve for this surface's reflections. And setting the specular value up or down would have no effect on it. And it's doing that because that you have to do that to maintain a physically correct dielectric surface, where a certain amount of light is reflecting off of it and most of it is transmitting through it, but there's a balance between the two. If a little bit reflects off, then the rest of it is transmitting through, and there's an exact balance between those two variables. So that's a situation that remains the same in 4.0. Once you set the material's transmission up to 1.0, the index of refraction has complete control, and the specular value will have no control. Otherwise, in 4.0, you can adjust either the specular value or you can adjust the index of refraction. There's one final thing that's the single most important aspect of this new implementation that you need to know about. If we come to the blue sphere in the background, and we want it to have just diffuse reflections, meaning the base color, and we don't want any specular reflections, in 3.6, you would come over and you would just turn specularity down to zero, but it doesn't operate that way anymore in 4.0. You can see that we still have specular reflections at high glancing angles. And we can still see a bare hint of the specular highlight from the light source. So the way that this works now, let me set this back up to 0.5. The way this now works in 4.0 is to get a diffuse surface. You simply set the index of refraction to one, and then you get a standard diffuse only surface. So that's really kind of the big thing that will change between 3.6 and 4.0.